Hi Scorps, um, this is for you, your love reading. Love reading for Scorpio, Scorpio um, August 2017. Love reading for Scorps, Scorpio August 2017. Apologize for being so very late, but at least it is still coming. So anyway, August 2017 for Scorpios, Scorpio love reading, love reading. What is happening to Scorpio's love life? What is happening to Scorpio's love life? Um, singles, singles and in between and also with couples. Singles in between and with couples. Singles in between and, with, and also couples. First, first, sorry, first five, first five cards be for singles and in between. Couples be for, um, yeah, couples. And then the next five cards will be for couples. Couples. And singles and in between for Scorpios August 2017. What do we have? Scorpios August 2017 love reading. Five cards for singles and in between. Another five cards um for couples. Singles. Singles and in between August 2017. For in-betweens, you could um, take reference to both the singles and the couple spread. So, um, so um, okay, let me explain about in-between. In-between would be about uh, you who, whom could be coming out of a relationship, um, in a destructive relationship, or it could be you um, having someone potentially a date, uh, having someone close to you, with you, but not official. So that's in between. So you are neither single or uh, you are neither couple. Alright. Okay. Singles, bottom of the deck. Couples. So starting from singles and in between. Let me settle on the cards and see what could I be seeing over here. Alright, um, okay, the bottom of the deck is the star, that's your overall general energy, the star. Star card is about wishing, wishing upon a star. So Scorpio, I think this month you are, there's this, um, there's this inner, um, um, uh, like, there's something in you, there's something in you that you, you are secretly hoping for. Because the star is about wish. The star is about a wish. And uh, you there's something that you are wishing for, hoping for over here. And this is for your love life. So singles and in between. I think you, you could be wishing for... I mean, any kind of wishes. Every one of you is different. But there is this wish. There is this secret wish or want or need that you are wanting for yourself that you are hoping that it it is going to happen for you probably someone to leave your the uh, i mean like someone to leave the your love interest like probably your love interest has has got someone else uh you are hoping that um this like this other party would would not work out with your love interest or something like that or probably like you're hoping for a love interest to contact you uh for your exes for your ex to contact you anything anything i mean I, exes would be for in between um so if it's not if you are not together already so i mean i would call them exes for you so that's the start there's something you are wishing very uh deeply in in within you and um it's yeah it is on your thought it is on your thought um most most of the time every other time so general energy for singles and in between there is a secret wish that you are hoping for this month in the month of august um following that the first card we have got the high priestess eight of swords 
the emperor, the devil, and the chariot. The high priestess is talking about um, something that's meant to be, something that's meant to happen, um, something that's meant to be experienced. So, so probably you will be experiencing some, uh, or you will come to see, come to see something um, about, about, someone i mean if if it if you are in between i mean you you came you came you came it it came to light it came to light to you about your love i mean your partner before before time something came to light uh high high priestess is about faithful event faithful event destined event divine uh pre-planned pre-planned arranged by the universe so if if anything had happened in the recent past or at least in this month of august it is faithful, it is faithful, it is destined. A faithful event and um, pre-planned, planned by the universe, planned by, I mean, like uh, God's gift, God's arrangement for your life. So if you have met or bumped into anyone from your past or anyone contacted you or you feel, if you feel trapped, if you feel trapped with someone, like you're not able to move on, um, even though you know that this person I mean the 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 odds the odds or the chances with this person uh the happiness is not there on the table even though the both of you could be uh very closely uh um um yeah could be very closely connected uh in whatever way in whatever way I do not know probably some of you could be having one night stands uh like a fling relationship because if you remember in your general reading, I said that you are there's someone whom you are connecting very closely with, whom is not serving you purposeful, and you know that it is not going to be long lasting. This person is not going to serve you, um, um, uh, in a good way. It is going to consume you, consume your time, your resources, your energy. So there is this person that you are, um, in contact, in connection with. That's the eight of sword, which whom you feel if you feel trapped because there's no strong there there's no strong, um um uh like um. Push. There's no strong push for you to push this person away. You don't mind having this person around you, but it. I mean, that's that's probably all that it could be. Just being around you or you are around this person. You can't actually leave this person like there is no reason for you to leave this person or create a big hoo-ha or create a big drama, any drama kind of event with this person because the both of you are just like neither here nor there. So that's the Eight of Swords. We've got the Emperor over here. Emperor over here meaning to say, um, I would I would say and I would feel that for both of you, um, singles and uh, couples, I mean, sorry, in between, singles and in between, especially for the in between. In between, if you are having someone, I mean, if there, there is this someone that's uh, lingering around you or you are lingering around them, this, like, the both of you are behaving like as though nothing has happened. The both of you are behaving like, um, uh, uh, the both of you each has got your own stand, stand and ground on, on where is this thing going. Like, okay, you, you, you may be saying that, um, you are my friend, like, I, I love you as my friend, but do you really feel that way? Or it could be the other way around from your, um, whoever is in between, that you are in between with, in a, like, um, someone whom you are close with, but nothing official over here. So for singles, I'm seeing, like, you are behaving like an emperor over here. Um, you are, you are putting yourself, you are putting yourself, hanging yourself really high up, high up, and, uh, it's like, nobody can reach out to you, um, it's like unless you are, you know, you you are you are looking for the best, like the best elite, like an elite, like the best qual qualified, the best quality, uh, of a potential date. Otherwise, whomever who's like just anyone from the street, you are not going to just accept it. You are qualifying very much because this is emperor. Emperor is the highest of all. So, singles, singles. I'm seeing that most of you. You singles in this month, you are just placing yourself in a very high up uh, position where you sort of like you, um, you, okay, I, I, I want, you are being judgmental. Let's just say you're being judgmental. So whoever who comes to you, be, you'll be screening them inside out and outside in. You'll be screening them and like okay what what does this person has got to offer you who is he i mean he or she 
uh, does he or she has got a proper job? Uh, how is the family background? Is he or she rich? Uh, that that's that along that line. So that's the emperor. That's for you singles. You are qualifying very much. The um whoever is coming to you, there are definitely people coming towards you, expressing in a in a non explicit way, uh, love interest for you. Like they wanted to probably they want to get your number, but you'd be like um no like, <laughs> just no or. Like first instinct, first instinct. It most of the time, first instinct, first instinct from you about them is like, oh no, I'm not just gonna go to hook up with you just like that, you know, just like that. So that's the emperor for singles. Um, otherwise, for in between, the both of you will be will be behaving like as though both of you are standing your own firm ground. But what is what is what is the true inner self within you is a star card. Like you are you are hoping that this person take um take effort take effort or um action to pursue you once again or you are hoping for a chance to uh pursue this person once again but it needs some it needs some um uh you need a stage you need a stage to put yourself there in that position to get it going otherwise you can't actually randomly just like just take someone uh i mean your your whoever that you are trapped with like lingering around uh with you just you need a stage you need a stage you need you just need a stage uh like a thread a treading to put you there to help you and to lead you on to make the first move otherwise you are just the both of you the both of you are just lingering loitering around uh one another that's in between we've got the devil card over here it is apparently and seemingly there is someone else other than this um for for, for in between there is this someone else between you and this other person um i mean it could be you having someone else other than this complicated person whom you are with there is this someone else that's on your mind or actually this other this this complicated person whom you are loitering lingering around with this person has got someone else in his or her mind and that's the reason why the both of you are not moving and the both of you are just waiting waiting along with time waiting for opportunity to arise um to actually take the action i mean to take action to to make a move to pursue for the pursuit so that's the devil over here there's definitely someone if it's not you then this other person has got someone else in the mind so you are being an option over here this month of august in between you are you are being an option for singles um singles yes i would see this devil card also being you are also being an option or people are just like um playing you out like you know people who just be telling you oh i'm so interested in you i want to get to know you how about you know if we could exchange contact but don't take it too seriously because i'm seeing this is a devil the devil being it could be someone is playing you out or this someone has got like is attached has got a wife has got a girlfriend fiance um a uh, husband boyfriend or some other love interest somewhere else outside and other than you so scorpio singles please be very careful because you could just be an option a choice of someone else um i mean of this person whom you you could be uh closely acquainted with or someone close to you um someone whom you have been talking to for the longest time or someone you have just met recently but you feel instant connection but somehow you know things are just not going the way it is it should be going so that's for singles be on the lookout i mean be very careful you may just be an option for in between you are also just an option um i mean you could be uh an option to this someone else whom you are in a complicated status with or some this someone else is just an option to you so you are tr trying to juggle and manage between more than one so at least two of them the devil card um we've got a chariot over here um things are moving it is chariot card is about fast moving fast pace so um it is it is according and going with the flow so i'm seeing more on going with the flow over here so all of you singles and in between it just seems like you know you are just playing with time like just 
going along with time and see what's going to play out for you. So that's a chariot card. I mean, it is usually about fast pace, moving very fast forward. I mean, yes and no, but I don't feel very strongly on like being being very fast forward. Like, I mean, you could just have, you would have already slept with someone else even without having um, um, like a confirmation, an affirmation about the both of you. Like, what are, what are the both of you? Are you both uh, couples attached or what? Or is it just uh, a fling, a fling, a one night stand? So that's a chariot card. It could be fast paced in that mo in, in that in that aspects like you know the both of you has have already actually um like proceeded uh moved on and be close, but it's like um just. You don't you don't dare to ask like so what about the both of you uh like does he or she acknowledges you as the official partner, um yeah so that's a chariot card, for, in between the chariot card will mean for you, um, would would mean okay because if you come out if you come out and you are in the in between right now, uh in between would just mean that uh. It would it would it would just it would not mean anything fast paced because you have been been through been there done that uh like the fast paced thing like been there, uh being close or intimate uh one night stand with someone else, uh you have been there done that and that's why you are in a complicated situation. But and this chariot over here is just saying that it is now going with the flow. You are going the flow in the sense that if that if that person texts you or communicates with you, you just oh hey hi. Um, like how 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 are you? How is it going? Just going with the flow, or otherwise it would just be you doing doing that, like just texting randomly. Uh, this love interest whom you are in a complicated situation with. So that's a chariot. Just going with the flow. For singles, it would just it would just mean that you have already done what a couple is, um, uh, what couples do, but it is like nothing is official over there for you singles. It is looking like, it is looking like most of you are trapped, are trapped and bounded with someone over. I mean, in in your life right now. So there's really nothing like super singles over here for you, Scorpios. Like there's really nothing like super singles, super singles, super singles. If you know what I mean, like, don't tell me you have nobody. You have no, no 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 opposite sex um like opposite gender contact who whom you are talking and chatting exchanging text um in your phone none of you none of you scorpios are having that every one of you have at least one whom you are exchanging your text with couple in between or singles all of you have have that and that makes you um not super single over here. Okay, so Scorpio, um, in between and singles, this is your spread. Coming to um, couples, 17, 8, 17, 48. Okay, um, couples, we have got 10 of pentacles over here. 10 of pentacles as your bottom of, uh, bottom of your deck, your general energy. 10 of pentacles over here, it is, um, it is a card about achievement. I w yeah, I would want to say achievement over here. Look at this. This is a card of um like everyone coming together. Couples are together. Um, are loving with the fact with, with like this old uh this aged man man over here looks like probably the father the grandfather to the kids over here that are children. So this is looking like for your for your love reading Scorpio's couples uh attached over here ten of ten of pentacles. This is your overall general energy. It could be you trying to manifest this this situation over here. You are working very hard this month in the month of August to make this to to put things uh and to put everyone together over here to to hold um yeah, I just feel like saying to hold to to hold back like pull back your love your love interest to put the attention back on you on the both of you the relationship of the both of you over here ten of pentacles you Scorpios attached um attached couples you are trying very hard to to bring everyone together and you are trying to um expand the dynamics of uh that relationship it could be setting uh settling down with a family or you could be putting in effort a lot of communication putting in effort to uh to communicate with uh your other half over here um probably bringing back for family um family gathering or um like getting to know if you have got a kid 
or children from uh, with your exes you are trying I mean for those attached and um, for those yeah in a relationship if, if you are divorced before and have got kids before you it is looking like you're trying to put your new partner uh, getting to know your family over here ten of Pentacles your overall general energy let's I will I may I may have more to speak about this general energy card but let's see what do we have over here so the first card we actually have got six of sword over here six of sword is about distance um you may be traveling you may be traveling but I'm feeling like you will be returning you are returning so it is not going to be a long permanent uh, travel so you are traveling much traveling a lot uh, a lot a lot of it a lot of traveling a lot of uh, distancing or even if you are not traveling uh, yourself you could just be um, distancing yourself with your other half just because you have got no time to be to uh, you just have no time to be in connect um like to connect with your other half to text your other half because most of the time you'll be feeling so tired you'll be so worn out uh with your daily routine with your job your career uh with other matters of life six of swords over here um there's just some breakdown over here it just could be that you are not present here you are not you are not communicating because this is sword sword is a communication card so speaking of which yes i'm feeling like even most of you um even if you're not traveling you just have got no time to communicate with one another um and okay if in 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 contrast in contrast with the overall general energy it could have been this had happened uh in the recent past being a six of sword this had happened in the recent past and right now your general energy is that you're trying to put things back together you're trying to fix everything that you had actually done um damage to six of sword three of cups mm. Three of Cups over here, it is saying that, I mean, it may it may be due to person, uh, like the, a third party uh, in, coming in between the both of you, or it could just mean something else is occupying either one of you or the both of you uh, at this point in time. It could be like, you know, you are, um, uh, there are some other, like probably work matters, family matters that is occupying you, that you have no time for your, um, that you have no time for your, partner over here someone else uh someone here is occupied by something else someone else it could be a person it could be an event a, a thing over here i mean some of you could have probably let's say for example could have bought bought a house bought a car and then you are busy renovating you are busy um busy like polishing up your car because it is a new car you are bringing it to the workshop to get it like uh, wax and um, whatever whatever so I'm just th but this is just an example it's not coming from the cards but this is just a, a realistic example to tell you that you are one of you are being very occupied over here this month that you have no time for your other half we've got two of pentacles yeah this is this is speaking this is this is what is speaking over here two of pentacles is about managing juggling so you're just trying to manage between this other aspect other than this other thing or someone other than your other half you are just trying to you are trying very hard i'm saying it, you are trying very hard um you or your other your other person i mean the other half is trying very hard to juggle between um, something else someone else and you yourself so if it's someone towards you so your other love interest Scorpios your other your partner is trying to manage something else in his or her life other than you uh, it could also mean that you Scorpios you are trying to manage something else in your life other than uh, your other half that's two of Pentacles. Uh, it could just mean work uh, finances career because Scorpio this is uh, the North Node in Leo uh, the North Node in Leo um, for the next 18 months, one and a half years, starting from May, is going to be in your 10th house, uh, house of career. So it could just mean your work, your businesses, um, your job. Two of Pentacles. We've got Five of Sword over here. Five of Sword, again, it is a lot about communication breakdown, not going through, not flowing through, not seeing eye to eye. It, it, but I, I'm, I'm still seeing a lot of time, time factor over here. It is either the time is not right, um... The time is not right. The time is um not uh it could it could be someone of a of a um of a different time zone because this is a, a distance a distance distance or distance relate uh card so it could be someone whom you are dealing with of a very different time zone or it could just be due to your schedule that um communication 
is on the on the verge of breaking down on the verge of breaking down or has been an issue uh like the both of you just has got no time enough to communicate it's just not um it's just not sync it's there's no synchronicity over here for the both of you in terms of um communication because swords are about communication over here and five five of swords is about just something not flowing through, not going through. We've got two of swords over here. All right. Um, a lot of swords are happening on the desk, on the table, in the spread here for you, Scorpio couples. Uh, also for in between, if you are still looking at it in betweens, be very, I mean, be very um aware, not careful, but be very aware that communication it is looking and seemingly looking like it is the most um it is the most affecting uh destructive issue over here for you and your love life your you and your partner and your love life right now two of swords there's no you have no time you have no time you have um you have uh no extra resources you have no energy to communicate you are so occupied you're juggling you're juggling there's something else some something else someone else in your life that's taking up um time away from you it could be a third party relationship but i'm not feeling so strongly about that but it could just mean as such or otherwise it could just mean someone else it could be a family member like taking away a lot of time and attention from you so it could be your mom your dad i mean somebody's mom uh you or your other half mom or your dad whom like is having issue and then calling you out every other time and things like that i mean just for example the how whichever and however it resonates with you and two of swords over here is about you having no time like just i'm i'm, I'm talking a, i'm speaking a lot about no time like you just have a, no time no time for nonsense no time for bullshit no time to experience new encounter you're just like you're playing it very safe you're just playing it very safe. You don't, so you're just trying to avoid a lot of avoidance over here. Scops a lot of a, a lot of avoidance. Uh, either by you or your partner. Your partner it could be avoid. He or she could be avoiding you, or you or you could be avoiding your partner over here. Avoiding not because the both of you are not working out, but avoiding in the sense that. You just want to avoid creating drama, uh, more drama and more drama. And ten of pentacles over here. Right now, it could it could actually mean that you are you are trying finances is on the on the table uh, on the in the spread for you. And if you are juggling, um, you are your your overall general energy for couples is that either one of you, be it you or your other partner, your other half is um achieving is striving is striving in or uh in his or her career it could be career work uh just finances a lot of finances struggle str struggles are here affecting the relationship remember again in your general reading i said that there is a need for a sum of money a uh, big or small amount it doesn't really matter but that amount of money is taking up uh time from you and scorps this is in your couples uh couples reading couples reading general energy ten of pentacles so it could be you again it could be you or your other half if you're looking at this and wondering why and what's happening to your relationship i'm telling you that you your other half is actually working very hard for finances uh for pentacles over here so if you want to you could show your concern to your other half like why are you why like why are we not talking as much as before like are you going through some kind of difficulty you know talk to talk to your partner um i'm sure he or she would be would would communicate with you if you hit it on point on the spot like you nail it you know it and you know what's going on with them tell it to them that you are guessing that they are in some kind of um worries or stress that they are going through right now all right so cup um scrubs this is for you singles in between and couples that's all and i'll see you again very soon i will work out on the new moon in leo uh second time in the month of august uh for your love reading and look out for that thank you